Hey guys, I'm Robro Gaming, and I guess this is the next episode of my Breath of the Wild playthrough. The sun is rising on the horizon, it's a nice golden sky, and it looks like there's some sort of star just dropped from the sky over there, but it's like, we could investigate that, and maybe we will, sure. So to start, why don't we investigate that? It might be off the plateau, but if it's on the plateau, we'll, we'll look for it. So in this episode, I'm going to keep scavenging the plateau. Because this is kind of the namesake. <laughs> I want to see how long I can stay on the plateau before I'm forced to go other places to get interest. I really wish I had more stamina. Climbing these things is really painful since it gets so close to running out. Look at that, there's barely a sliver. There's a light on that mountain, but it's not the same as the light from the star. I think the star disappeared. <laughs> oh well. But look what's here. It's like an ice shard. There seems to be... Either that's the reflection of the sun or something inside. But how did I get into it? <laughs> Solid ice. Though maybe I could use my... Could I? I don't want to waste it. So it looks like you might be able to melt that ice if you use some fire, but I don't want to waste my stuff. I'm not gonna leave the Great Plateau yet. <laughs> Probably just gonna keep exploring Mount Hylia, finding out all the interesting things. Just, I, I've played this game before and I know that, that there's something. I'm pretty sure I said this in the last video, but there's something called a Blood Moon, which resets all the monsters and items in the game. But, hey! It's an EX chest! I actually honestly did not know this was here. Bombers. That's useful to sit early in the game, but because I didn't take the main path, I actually didn't get those when they would have been most useful. But still, it's nice to have some variety. Let's see. What's up here? There's... Of course there's that those giant plateau over there, but... That's off the map when I think that might trigger the Hyrule Kingdom message we're going over there. So if you if you're on the plateau, the blood moons will never happen, which means any monsters that you kill that aren't like stall monsters or keys that you find in the night should always come back. Any normal monsters that you kill will never come back. But also any items that you break will never respawn. Well, well, any weapons that you break will never respawn, any items that you use will never come back. I thought I heard something. Must have been my imagination. Because uh, there's these things called Koroks. I think I actually got a Korok seed in the last episode. Uh, it's this yellow thing. Uh, you know you're getting close to a Korok because you can hear a faint rattling. Huh, it's like a dead forest. Sad. Like, trying to look for a monster camp because 
right now my plan is to try to destroy every monster or to try to eliminate every monster if I can get rid of every monster on the Great Plateau then that means since the blood moons can't happen the Great Plateau will finally be free of any monster troubles which would be kind of great it's like hey guys no more bill coplins on great plateau so everyone's gonna want to come here to do this stuff and then i could charge them to try to get up here it's like link's free rides climb on my back and i'll just climb up the side of this giant plateau <laughs> probably not a good idea uh, Yeah, there's lots and lots of stuff in this cold region. Hey, there's a blue book album. That's one of the tougher ones. I don't want to break too many good items on, all over it. Boca Club seems like a good mid-ground. Hey, he's guarding some treasure. Damn. Oh no. Wow, you almost took me out in one swing. Uh, this is gonna be a fun battle. <sighs> I have to make sure I heal up all the way because since you can just hit me once and take me down to half a heart, I also have to. Maybe you can try to do that flurry rush thing I accidentally did in last episode. Oof. Despite all these high level herbs, they're actually better than, ap than apples when it comes to healing. Come on. I did it! Quick! Attack! 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 Uh, that was broken. I have a bulk alarm. Uh. I did it again! Oh, I knocked his weapons off. Spike Book of Clubs is like a better version of an old Book of Club. And I can just hit him once, he's dead. Oh yeah. Now that, since this shield is kind of damaged, I can trash it and get the Spike Book of Shield instead. I can get all these monster parts that he dropped. And then finally I can get this loot. What were you guarding, little guy? An amber. You were guarding an amber of all things. Alright. Hmm. Alright. It looks like there's a monster camp down there, so I'll just cut to when I get there, so it's probably going to take a while to climb. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, looks like I finally made it to the camp. Oh, well, that is the element of surprise. These guys are chumps. You got nothing. This thing can take you out in one sh shot. Did one of them just walk into the fire? I can pass through by the fire. Nice to know. But one of those bow coffins literally just walked into the fire. They were just like, I ain't doing this. <laughs> I mean, I can't blame them. I'd probably do the same thing if some if I was faced with those with that situation. <laughs> Baked apples. So I just burned open that box. It's like 20 out of 10 strategies, am I right? And they're girding some arrow prize. Hey! Oh, second foot goes a fish. This is the shield. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sometimes I am. But this rock is suspicious. Normally. 
there's like a random rock somewhere, there's usually a Korok nearby. Not because they have similar sounding names, but because it's just that way. That's a raft, but you can't really do anything with it. Huh. Why did I think that would float? It's a literally rock. I mean, it looked like it was like made out of plastic, the thing. I happen Link even carry that rock and go so easily with it? I know. But hey! We took out another enemy camp. I mean, we weren't stealthy that much, but that's fine. In, these early, in this early game, you can literally brute force your way into anything that you want. So it's like, if there's an enemy that you want to uh, destroy really badly, you can easily just go like, bang, bang, and then it's just instantly gone. Though later in the game, you won't have such lovely opportunities. Because in late game, if you were trying to do brute force something, it would be nearly as easy to do anything like that because it's just like you try to take out the monster, and then uh, when you try to take out the monster, they just they're way too strong. But in the early game, the monsters are so weak that if you have the right tools, you can literally just run straight into the fight and just hit them and they'll just completely well, disappear in a in a puff of black smoke because that that's that's how you, that's how things go in this game. So yeah. There's no challenging bosses on the Great Plateau, but I just want to make sure that I get every last bit of good stuff. Because if there's anything that I leave behind, I could always come back for it, but it's not going to be nearly as useful in late game when I have all of the tools I need to do anything I want. So it's better to get all of the good things now, because that way in, in, late, in later game when I actually trying to in later game when I'm actually trying to do things and I find those items it's not going to be nearly as useful as it would be now since I'm so weak if you look at my hero's path uh, I actually crossed my path on that mountaintop that I didn't even know I passed so that's interesting actually crossed my path but I didn't realize it. I actually found a monster camp that I hadn't noticed before. Wait, maybe I did. Those are the same rocks I tried to push at the other camp. I guess I just didn't go further down. Yeah, here's the remains of the other camp. I can just put you here. That was dumb. <laughs> You know, in hindsight, I probably should have realized that would happen. I kind of thought that it would be like that, it would like have five seconds before it actually caught fire, but no, it just, it just explodes on contact. Alright, let me just eat these random assorted mushrooms that I found in the middle of the forest. Because they're totally not poisonous since I'm like a magic human and immune to poison. Because there is no poison in this game. It looks like I'm walking on water. But how can I be walking on water? It's snowing. Huh. Interesting. Looks like there's a giant bridge that way. A bridge is called Mount. No, it's called the Bridge of Hylia because it's like because Hylia is like a, is like a giant. It's like a goddess that people worship here. Which is how Hyrule, which is the whole entire place we're in, is actually named after. See, this whole place. Of course, if I go into this section, that's where I can seek out Impa, which is what the uh, the old man who is actually the king of Hyrule told me to do right before he disappeared in a puff of smoke. 
Cause yeah, that's what normal people do. So. So because I, uh, I'm supposed to be down there, I probably should get down there eventually. But for now, I just want to explore everything, make sure I get all the treasures that I can, and. I think, speaking of treasure, even though I, I think I might have gotten the thing that's at, under this rock. Wait. Can I just see what I found myself? I'm literally like inside the rock. Looks like some developers didn't map the collision very well for this side. I mean, wow. <laughs> I literally have my arms and legs like jammed up inside of it. It's like this side is all fine. It's just this one corner. I can literally just be like, hi, I'm like Spider Link. I'm stuck in the wall. But anyways, enough fooling around. There seems to still be a mist around the group plateau. Which is interesting since I thought the mist was only there until you know we got the paraglider. Well, that's fine. It looks like there's another enemy camp here, and you don't know what that means. First, we accurately land on this guard this time, and then we just knock him out. I feel like I'm doing like pro sp spy stuff. I don't even know that I'm here. I literally just smashed that dude. But I can use this element of surprise to get the upper hand. Well, I use one of these precious bomb arrows. Wow, that's a very Huh. Like a special chest? That was very powerful. It's like with one shot. Because that bow that I have is only supposed to do four damage, and bow coblins have like, I think 13 health points? I don't really know since I can't see their health points. I can only see the health bars. But I think that, like, they can take only. Like, they can take four hits from a, they can, take, well, they can take three hits from a Boko Club before they, before, and they have like almost no health left. A throwing spear? Huh. That'd probably be useful, seeing what assorted nonsense I have. Sorry Boko Club, I don't need you. This throwing spear can be thrown farther, which means that I could actually use a spear to taunt, like, monsters. Though, spears are definitely not as good as bows and arrows, since with, this, with any item really, if you throw it and it hits something, it will actually break. This is sad. You can still see where the old man was trying to cut down the tree. It's like a little ch chipped off bark. But the old man isn't here anymore. See? He's gone. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. So that's basically him writing down what he told me before. So that way I remember. That's interesting, but didn't it talk about some sort of recipe last time? I guess it, he wrote over his words. Wait. 
Those are the same sparkles I saw when I got the one on top of the Temple of Time. There's just another one. Hey, look. That's another Korok. Thanks for the Korok seed, everybody. I have no idea what a Korok seed is or whether it's like something I should touch or not, but I don't care. Thanks for it anyways. That's giving me a big whack. Oh, doesn't ring that barrel. Sometimes people stuff things in barrels, and since Link is unable to open the barrel like a normal person, the only way to get the goodies inside is to smash the whole barrel open. I've never used this pitchfork before. Hmm. This white book cover is almost broken anyways. Yeah, it's broken now. This is no point. Anyways, uh, hey, there's another bow coffin camp over there, you see? Okay, let's see, there we go. See? There's a beehive next to it. That'd be fun. Uh, forget the rush room. There's so many rush rooms, I guess they just love, love, love growing on the sides of rocks and stuff. Hmm. That's an interesting setup. You have a bee's hive next to book columns. And I don't think book columns like bees. A little tip for you guys, book columns don't. So if I can just get a dead eye shot on that. Come on. Oh gosh, so close. Let's try there. A little too far. Keep missing. So that's fine. It looks like they're, they're falling asleep, anyways. I guess all civilized creatures need to sleep. Even angry book cobblers. Who's an angry book cobbler? You're an angry, angry book cobbler. Yes, you are. No, you weren't supposed to wake up. Oh well. I got a sweet new bow, which is actually substantially weaker than my old one. That's fine. And here are all my missed shots. I think that honey is actually an item you can pick up. But the bees are also something that can hurt you. So I need to shoot down the honey. And then run. I shoot down the honey and then the bees give me a run for my money. Hey, that rhymes. Almost like I did it on purpose. Those don't even look like bees, that look like hornets. I have a little freeze frame lag. Oh my gosh, you're so close. Oh, you can't sprint, bees. Whoa. Come on, bees, you can do better than that. And the bees are like, I ain't messing with this too. So I got some coarser bee honey. It actually is pretty strong stuff. It's stronger than other things. 
Hey, you're not part of my challenge. But I'm still going to destroy you anyway, since you're the bad guy. And bad guy, you're supposed to be disappeared in a puff of smoke. Uh, let's see. What else is here? Oh, the back here. Huh. I've really done quite a trick around the whole entire place. The only place I haven't really explored is the river, though that's kind of a given since you can't really explore the river unless you have a good boat. And the only boat is that tiny raft, and I can't use that without something to blow the sail and someone to operate it. Huh. I could probably jump! Oh my gosh, that was a close jump. Okay, guys. Yeah, that was definitely. This is definitely the same place that I was before. <laughs> When I explored the Temple of Time, this is definitely the same place. Hey! Ow! You're not nice. Only nice boys are allowed here. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder if there's anything I missed in my first sweep. So there's probably not. And this video is already getting kind of long, so how about I set up a camp in these old ruins and I call it a day. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit here and all right, see you everyone, and see you in the next video or any other video that you watch on my channel, and please. Uh, like and subscribe, hit the bell to get constant notifications, it's, it helps me a lot, actually, a lot more than you might think. And uh, comment anything you might want me to do in Breath of the Wild in the next Breath of the Wild video, or any other games you might want me to play. And if your game is uh, in my abilities, and you might see your game that you featured be played on my channel. So, that's pretty good, amazing that I would actually read all those comments, but I actually do. So, anyways, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.